Yo, Schoberg, everybody. Last week we got in the incredible 1982 Mobat. But that's not all. Together with it, we got its eternal sparring partner, the 1983 Cobra Hiss. Or is it? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the retro collection Hiss Tank from the year 2020. Let's get it up on the table and see what it's all about. Well, one thing's for sure, guys, when we're talking about the 1982 Mobat, it definitely has one thing in common with a real-world tank, in that you will hear it long before you see it. Because this bad boy is... Noisy! But, it's not about you, Mobat. It's about the 2020 release, the Cobra Hiss Tank. Now, we're making a habit of this on G.I. Joeberg. We never used to be about modern toys, but this is definitely showing a trend. First, it was classified series snake eyes. Now, retro collection hiss. I'm not going to spend too much time fawning over the box, other than to say it's got an updated hiss tank driver artwork. That's pretty much the only update to that glorious, glorious box art. The box art with the motion lines in the front and the back. What's happening? The his tank's just shaking like that. <laughs> but yeah, everything is present and accounted for. It is beautiful. All the old signifiers from the tricolor logo, that font typeset, the, the italicization is the same, uh, that big badge. I don't have the uh, original in front of me. I don't think I've ever owned an original his tank box, but this is certainly a visual treat and one that uh, you'd get the full effect of if you saw a row of them at a big box toy store. Something that I hope people watching this have had the experience of. Uh, but if not, G.I. Joeberg's got your back, guys. Here we go. Let's crack this sucker open. I have my trusty knife. A Christmas present from the wife. Lovely. Shing. One incision, all we need. Pop the flap. New toy smell, guys! Okay. And she's very securely packaged in there. I mean, you're not going to get any kind of damage uh, to this minty toy in transit. And it really does look like a sports car chassis <laughs> with a tank tread. Oh, it's like that black plastic is untouched by human hands. Almost. I mean, they must have been a factory worker at some stage, doing the things. Set that aside for now. It's a very simple toy at the end of the day, but it's so iconic in its design. The High Speed Sentry Hiss. So the wheels are already popped in place. That's nice. Um, it is always a little nerve-wracking to fit these dumbbells in, I suppose, so glad they did that for us. Who needs instructions, right? All we do is slip that over and clip that in place. And we're, we're there, I guess. Oh, oh, what happened? Oh, I spoke too soon. These two halves are actually not married just yet. All right, all right. Call off the search party. I got it. <sighs> so. A little bit more to it than I had anticipated. I'm gonna get all this married up. Right, right. A nice firm grasp should should be all we need. And then, ah, yes, a hiss tank on its treads. The icon starting to grow. Now, the major advantage to getting a his tank as late as uh, 2020 and 2021 is you're gonna have the benefit of the turrets not needing any kind of fix or doctoring. Uh, no broken tabs, no broken pins. Oh, that's nice. It would appear he's a Cobra Trooper. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. Anyway, um, yes, those ratchets are firm and new and undamaged. Uh, we all know how the his tank locks in place. It's sort of a lock and key mechanism with these cutouts 
and they marry up to the exact tabs on the turret. Ooh, that's the first time those two parts have been put together. Lovely. All right, and that just leaves one more piece of the chassis. The sexiest piece of all. Brand new canopy glass. I'm not even gonna touch, or gonna touch the, the glass panel itself as little as possible. So you'll notice that's an addition. I wonder if that's uh, to, oh, I don't even have an explanation for that. If you got an explanation for that slot, leave in the comments down below. But here we go guys. Like I say, no instructions needed for this bad boy. Even if you've never put one together in your life, you are all too familiar with the construction of Cobra Hiss. Mm. It's a nice juicy slot in. I think it's in place. I'm gonna push it down and whoa! If that doesn't fill you with excitement, uh, I don't know why you're a Joe fan, because that was incredible. Wow, there it is, unstickered. Let's pass our eyes briefly over the paraphernalia that we didn't need and some that we are going to definitely need a little bit later. Firstly, what's an icon without its iconic sticker sheet? Uh, come on out. It's catching a little bit of uh, release of the pressure and... Oh, oh God, this isn't offending any sensitive viewers. All right, 788, the namesake of HCC's channel. And there it is, bold, red, that awesome military typeset. And once again, the icon, the perfection, Cobra logo. Love the details, guys. Not many stickers, uh, certainly not anywhere near as exhaustive as the Mobat sticker sheet, but perhaps all this vehicle needs, tasteful. What you're not seeing are the white stickers. That's the light bulb that goes in here, tantalizing. We kind of always wish that was an active light source. Um, a lot of customizers out there who are good with LEDs have managed to do that. But for the rest of us, we've just got a very cool classic sticker. We've got some warning information. Don't really need to pass our eye over that. And then the, ah, oh, blueprints are disappointing. Actually, that is, Terrible. I mean, that's cool. That's cool. That's iconic enough. I mean, you just have to not look at the, <laughs> the product information at the bottom there, but uh, you know, it's on blueprint paper. But as far as instructions go, that's, that's a little bit of a departure from the original experience. Boo! Let's turn our attention to this guy, shall we? So I have what the stand refers to as the Cobra Trooper out of the box. We all know it's a his tank driver. That's just a pretty generic name. Fortunately, they did create a actual named character out of the His Tank Driver some years later with Rip It. This is another kind donation from a pal of G.I. Joe books out there. Just comparing the two, yeah, man. Advantage modern in that they've made sense of this helmet. It's a very sleek affair. Uh, my couple of word, uh, review of this figure is I'm very impressed. We don't see a lot of modern figures on G.I. Jobo, but this one, his joints are not frozen. They are stiff enough, but also he's ready to play with straight out of the package. Very fortunate. Uh, I have heard of some product defects, uh, a lot of people complaining, but fortunately I got a winner. This guy is good. Hands look good, articulation works, the paint is sharp, what paint there is there. It's the classic Cobra His Tank driver, uh, but as I say, very much more streamlined, made lovely sense of that helmet. Check that out. The secondary doesn't allow for a back plug, but that's okay. He's gonna sit in the His Tank and not really need any other weapons or equipment, is he? Let's pop the top. Let's see how he fits. They have deepened the seat compared to the original Hiss. So that should help getting the larger 25th anniversary and later style figures in there. Hmm, still gonna be a bit tricky. 
We are bumping the, the lid a little bit. What can I do to fix that? How do we get you to sit deeper, pal? Maybe get those arms out of the way. It's awkward posing figures with a camera. Hmm. Still not great. He's rubbing the top of that canopy. But, as you know, G.I. Joe Berg has a firm vintage focus, so we should have no trouble getting old rippets in there nice and comfortably. And the lid closes. Plenty of headroom. He's sitting quite far back in the canopy. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm gonna get my his tank, stick it up, and we're gonna take it for some maneuvers, perhaps after dark. We got Joe Armour incoming. Single unit, no air support. Trying to slip past our lines. You're calling back up. One shot from that main gun will smoke us. We know the terrain. Let's lure him in and set up a shot to this rear. Burn it, baby. No guts, no glory. Let's be. Cobra! Nailed him. Damn, I'm good. It was my shooting wise guy. Now, if you can fit your head under that canopy, let's get out of here before Joe Air spots us. Man, that thing is fast. It certainly earns its name as the High Speed Sentry, the least strained acronym in the entire G.I. Joe toy line, I'll tell you that much. And it is a solidly reproduced toy. I have a vintage hiss. This one does not depart from it in any material way, except for that slot, perhaps. Perhaps he needs a, a breathing hole, just like a hamster in a, in a little sphere. <laughs> but yeah, down to the stickers, everything is very, very nice. And if you do see these at retail, I would say pick up three. You can never get enough of the classic Cobra armor. Is it armor? Something slightly less than armor, but certainly up to the challenge of taking on a true tank as we saw in the demonstration if you can know the terrain use your speed as an advantage and get in behind the mobat you can drill away at the less armored portions with those 30 millimeter cannons and win the day unlikely but it can happen especially if you've got a devil may care driver like this guy i have managed to get him to sit a little bit deeper in the canopy and he looks very respectable this cockpit will hold a variety of figures, I'm sure, but none have the beautiful contrast of a red figure set into a black vehicle. Yes, ladies and gentlemen of the audience, the Retro Hiss gets G.I. Joburg's thumb up of approval. This is a great set, and I recommend it highly to anyone looking to bolster their classic Cobra legions. Yo, Joburg, everybody, thanks for watching. Oh, and if you could leave a little like, down below that would help the channel immensely in ways that not even I know. <laughs> Later!